Hey guys, Mindbox Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to make an awesome Minecraft starter house that only needs a few different resources. Enjoy! So I got all the info in our world creating section. Create new world. Okay, so oh no, this is a terrible spawn. Aside from that village over there, I'll put the seed in the description. This time I actually will put the seed in the description instead of saying it and not doing it. But let's just fly up yeah, there's a village over there but let's just fly up and there we go there's a spot that we can make our base so we're gonna start, start out by breaking the view I guess this isn't important but you're gonna wanna Go to your search menu and type spruce log. And there you go. So, if you use this seed, you won't need to go exploring for too long. As you can see, this is this. is so let's start with the building you're gonna want to place a log anyway one two three four five six seven just gonna wanna go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten blocks. Not ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen should be good. And then you're gonna from the from the fourteen blocks you're gonna wanna go. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm gonna wanna go sixteen blocks away, and and that'll give you a nice big house spot this should be good but no let's add an let's make it some 16 let's make it what 17 18 19 20 let's make it 20 it looks so much better with this and then plus if we make it 20 we can get more spot Base in our house. I know it's not about size, but <coughs> it'll just, just trust me. It'll look nice. Just gonna have to expand my island here. That's better. It's just a nice small little house, and you're gonna want to go to the spruce planks actually if you're in survival mode you're gonna not want to search but you're gonna want to find spruce but <coughs> from here I will 
is a little laggy, but just gonna keep building. I am on a different shader pack because of the last shaders video. I changed it to BSL from Chocopic 13, which could get explain the legginess but you know it's gonna build first we're gonna start off by making the frames of the house like just the base so you know where you're gonna ha build the rest of your house and then you know where like the size of your house like you get an idea of what your house will be like Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And there, see, we have a four block gap. You're gonna wanna place one, two, and there you go. But from here, you're gonna wanna go back to your logs. You're going to want to tower up from this first log. Add five more blocks. Add f yeah, five more blocks. One. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. You're going to want to go here and add one. Gonna wanna go here. Actually, not five. That's a little too high. Gonna wanna add four. So remove this one. And we would add our stairs for decoration here. One, two, three, three, three. Okay, that's what's it? That's four. Okay. Matches together. You don't want too high of a roof, but this will be four blocks tall. It's, a, it's more than enough. So you're going to want to add three on each side now that I think of it. So, actually, four. Four in total. But first you're going to want to make the base, and you're going to have one log in each corner. And then you're going to want to add three on top. And there you go. Next step is to fill all of this in except you're gonna want to leave a gap here so you're gonna want to go one two and there you go you're just gonna want to leave gaps around you're just gonna want to go around leaving gaps so see I'll make another little gap and these are the windows in the windows you know will bring light into the house so you can see and also it's just a nice decoration just fill in And it should look like and when you're done this section it should look like this it should look like this. come on computer should look like this kind of looks like a face I know but for now we're just gonna wanna make more of the windows so we're gonna wanna go one, two, three. So then you can add the borders. It's just a simple window. Then you're gonna wanna go exactly across and line it up properly. So see these windows are in line with each I think they're in line with each other. Four. Gonna wanna make sure 
that they're in line, like I didn't in line mine. So make sure they're in line. The two windows, one on each side. And they should be lined up. And you want everything to be lined up so they can match together and it'll just look really nice. Then over here, you're going to want to go one, two, three, four blocks away. So we have a four block gap in between the two windows. And once you make all your windows, you're just going to fill in the rest of the walls. One, two, three, four. As you can see, this is a full block gap. And I can finish up the windows. So the windows are the easy part of the house. And then from here, you're just going to want to fill everything in. You can do this in creative, survival, even hardcore. It's everything except adventure or spectator, of course. And this works with every Minecraft version. So Bedrock, Java, it's like PE, Console, Java, of course, and Education Edition, this should work, but you might have trouble getting the shaders, but this house will work, just without the shaders, of course. And then... Right here, you're going to want to break these two blocks. And you're going to want to have one, two, three, four, and then a window. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. One. Two, three, four, five, put it as a window right here, you want to keep building along the walls and just keep building, and at the back, we are done. As you can see, not as many windows as the rest. It's just enough to get a little bit of light. And fill it all in. And as you guys can see, I am done the walls. Before you do the roof, you're going to want to fill in the windows. Of course, it's not windows, it's gla glass. And in survival mode, you would have to, um, you know... You would have to get some coal or wood or sticks or saplings even, and a furnace, so you can, you know, put the sand in the furnace, get any kind of fuel, fuel, like coal or wood, put the sand in, and there you go, glass.
And if your laptop isn't ultra powerful, you won't be able to get shaders. This laptop is not as good as NASA. Not as a, not a supercomputer, this laptop. But it's very, very good for Minecraft. And... There we go. You might have to use a lot of spruce planks and spruce logs for this, and a lot of sand. But there you go. And you're gonna wanna go back to the top, and we're gonna make the roof now. And just put it all together. And as you can see, three blocks tall, enough room to jump. I know it's not very tall, but it'll it'll be good. You, trust me. Just make the roof. Final block, and there we go. House isn't done yet, though. You're still gonna want to go spruce stairs, and you're gonna want to place them around your house. See this? You're gonna want to not like this. You're gonna want to go. In this case, if you're gonna survive, you should be towering up or building a staircase up. And as you build it around, you should build it around like that. Not like upside down. Like all of this. For these corner parts that might be a little tricky, you're going to want to go place one down here. Place one down here. Here, and then you left with the middle one. The little plus sign that's in the middle of your screen, you're gonna wanna put it right along with the seam in between the two stairs. I wanna go at the right angle, and there you go. You should end up with a house like this. And then the next step is you're gonna wanna go get doors. For the doors, you're gonna wanna use oak doors. They fit the best. And first you're gonna, under the oak door, you're gonna wanna place two things like this. Then you're gonna wanna place the grass blocks here. And you wanna stand on the spruce block here and place one right there. Place one like this, place one like this. Make sure these little gray looking R's, those are the handles, make sure they're matched up facing each other. And it should look like this. Then you're gonna wanna go pressure plate and you'll have a spruce pressure, pressure plate. In Minecraft survival, you really just need to put two types of spruce, two spruce planks next to each other, and they'll work. You're gonna have to do that twice to make two. One there, one there. And look at this. Not touching my my open button. Not touching any buttons except forward. Opens. And there you go. You open it, you step on the plate, you release the plate, and it closes. It's awesome. So, from there, you're going to grab a torch where you would just make out of one piece of coal one piece of stick on top of each other but for here you're just going to want to place them one in each corner of the wall so like one here two there and then 
So there's two there, and then you're gonna wanna go to the other side, and go all the way across. Then there you go. And then next to the windows, you're gonna wanna place torches. And this is so zombies do not spawn in your house. And as you can see, there is a four block gap in between the torches. But I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and next to each window, place my torch, including this side. The only windows you're not gonna wanna put torches around is these ones. You're only gonna put them in the corners of the walls. And as you can see, it's nighttime, and my house looks like this. This isn't the final product, though. Of course, you're gonna want to do the floors. I recommend using stone bricks. No, I'm just kidding. Use spruce planks, of course. So it really just looks like a big box of spruce planks. You're going to want to fill all the floor with spruce. And now the last block of the floor. It looks like we're almost done. But you're, what we you would have to do is you're going to have to get a bed. Any color. If you want an orange bed, you need orange dye, which you get from flowers. But the easiest is a red bed or a blue bed. So I'm just going to say with a red bed. You'd need to put in the crafting table. You need to go. So let's say the crafting table looks like this. To make it easier for you, I'm just going to say that this is the outline. So all in here is the crafting table. I have it wool, wool, wool. Wood, 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 wool, wool, wool. And then it'll make a white bed. And then you need white wool. And then you're going to want to put in the bed back on the crafting table. Along with red dye, which you get from poppies, which are small little red flowers. And there you go, you made yourself a red bed. So you're going to want to go to the left back corner and place your bed. But this isn't what you want it to look like, do you? You want to put it at the front or back. I'm going to put it in, in the front. And now I have my bed there. And where would I put my crafting table? I have right here. I'd go crafting table. I feel like you know how to make it. By the way, you probably wouldn't get any of this. I'm using a mod. But everything that I'm using in this video isn't a mod. And then you want to go to go wanna go furnace. Furnace. And you're gonna wanna place one here and one here. So just place them from the walls and that there you go. And then once you get an enchanting table. You're going to want to put it anywhere. I recommend you, if you have an enchanting table, I recommend putting it in the middle of the house. And then you're going to want to go chest. And now that you have your chest, you make that by in the crafting table. You go. So let's, say, let's make the craft. Let's make a little. Oh, of course, I have a crafting table. In the crafting table. You're all in the, you're gonna want to put w any kind of wood planks everywhere except the middle one, and then you'll have a chest. You're gonna want to put two chests next to each other to make this chest, and on the wall you're gonna want to put two chests next to each other, and then you got two big chests. And here you just put nothing, just a little gap, and there you go. Add all the decorations you want. But out here, you're gonna want to need you're gonna need oak, 
trap doors. That's not oak. Okay, you're gonna want, gonna want to need oak because it has little holes in it. Then you're gonna want. A you're gonna want to go into the decor. You're gonna want flowers. This is a poppy. And a cornflower, for example. And a daisy. Or a dandelion. A dandelion. And then you're gonna want. Dirt. And with the dirt. You can plant the flowers, of course. So you're gonna want to place your trap doors. Not like this. You're gonna want to go like here, here, trap door. Open them up. Trap door. No. Trap. Trap door. Trap door. I might have made a mistake here. Sorry about that. You're only going to want to make it one block. Place it here. Trap. Trap door. Trap door. Trap door. And then inside you're going to want to place dirt, dirt. Put a pop and a dandelion. And then on the other side, let's do the exact same thing. Like the exact, exact same thing. So you're gonna wanna go trap door, and then, no, there, trap door, trap door, and trap door. You're gonna wanna go dirt, dirt, Cornflower, poppy. No. Cornflower, poppy. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoy your ha your new house in Minecraft. Bye.